all I can say. 25 degrees this morning. It is 6.30 and we are headed out. Start working my way to Denver across the course of today. Um, don't know if I'm going to film much once I get to Denver, but we will find out, right? We've got a journey to make first, 400 and some odd miles. Should we get to it? Two more elk up there. Press the Uconnect phone button to restore the factory settings or... awesome morning <clears throat> usually uh, at least when I'm doing a one like this where it's like this trip's really about the journey across Wyoming to Denver not about the Uintas Mountains where I spent last night that being said as we're coming back out of the Uintas and we're now in Wyoming again I'm seeing so much wild dive we are currently at a roughly eight head of deer probably 30 plus antelope, probably a lot more. I keep seeing them out in the distance, but yeah, a lot of antelope. And between 15 and 20 head of elk. Awesome. I love mornings like this when there's wildlife all out and about. I probably should have uh, wandered out a little bit slower so I didn't spook them all because they've all like bolted as soon as they heard the Jeep coming, which is, you know, what happens when you're going 40 miles an hour on a gravel road. Anyway, amazing morning. I hope I got some good video for you guys. Well, hello there, folks. It is another day. Um, this is all going to be connected into one video that kind of represents the Denver area. As you guys know, I am not interested in urban environments whatsoever. There's no attraction for me. Um, no appeal for me. Instead, I love the wilderness. And so, being that Denver is only about oh, 30, 40 minutes from the mountains, guess where we're going? Got done with work, and so we're gonna head up into the hills and see what there is to see. So without any further ado, let's drive, shall we?
Well, there's some, definitely some unique and pretty country back in here. We are on Boulder Creek, um, about 15 miles outside of Boulder, Colorado. Just stopped and got some shots of Boulder Falls. There are so freaking many people up here, and it's kind of crazy, you know, it's like Monday, Monday afternoon. You'd think it'd be a little bit quieter, but every pullout is packed with cars. There's probably about 50 people around these falls. Most of these folks are tourists. I don't see too many Colorado license plates. Guess mine isn't either though, huh? Anyway, let's press on. Roosevelt National Forest, Colorado. Pretty. It's a little after five o'clock and my work day is done. And I think we need to add some more wildlife to this here video. You agree? 25 minutes away from my hotel room is the Rocky Mountain Arsenal Wildlife Refuge. What a wordy title. But the beauty of it is, is there appears, at least on the maps and from the internet, um, but it showed a lot of bison and elk and deer and all sorts of stuff in the pictures I was looking at. So, let's go check that out. Sorry, the video's a little shaky. I'm in a weird position here, but there's just some buffalo. Bison, whatever you want to call them. Well, folks, you've reached the end of this particular episode. I hope you've enjoyed the sights around the Denver area and the abundance of wildlife I was able to get into this one. 
that being said, it's time for me to sign off and head on down the mountains before a winter storm hits me. This has been a busy trip, a lot of work that needed to be done, and that's how I met my little friend you're looking at on your screen right now. See, he lives in a bush right next to the Jeep. He likes carrots and purple cabbage. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for continuing to watch. <laughs> Click that like and subscribe button below. Have a beautiful day.